hi guys so today I'm kind of gonna do a quick get ready with me I mean it's it's gonna be really quick so I'm gonna be late so let's jump into it I guess I'll find out when I get there first I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs coconut primer All right, so now that we've primed, we're gonna pick our foundation. I'm gonna take um, Makeup Forever's Ultra HD Foundation. It's in Y305, and I'm just gonna do one and a half pumps on the back of my hand. See, I have like a little dot. Always make sure you blend down. Alright, so after we go in with our foundation, I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Naked Weightless Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. Now I'm going to take the Real Techniques sponge and it's still damp. I'm just going to pack it on, blend it out. Rub it in, rub it in. Alright, we're blended. Alright, so next I'm going to take an e.l.f. blush brush. I have setting powders in my little deep out but I'm gonna go in with this one this is Mac emphasize and it's very sheen like it's not sparkly and glittery and it's not matte it's got like this gorgeous glow and you have exactly 5.6 seconds to do this or it'll crease now we're in business if you can't tell I'm obsessed with Z palettes don't judge me so I have this beautiful contour palette, Anastasia Blonde. It's kind of a cool tone brown that I'm going to use the Morphe. It's very foolproof. I mean, it's hard to mess up with this brush. But a good trick to probably get your makeup to look or to not fool you, natural light. Even if you can't um, do your makeup in front of a window every day, this is not a window. This is actually um, an LED like makeup mirror, but it definitely keeps me from fooling myself with like a wrong shade or patching. I can fix and correct my mistakes before I walk out of my house. <laughs> so now I'm gonna use MAC Soft and Gentle beautiful. Oh my god, I forgot blush. Ooh, I'm having off morning. Get it together. Alright, I'm going to use NARS Luster, and it's this gorgeous pinky brown shade. Dust that on the apples of our cheeks. Try not to touch that fresh highlight. <laughs> Where were we? There we go nose, dust a little on, and then I do it right in between my eyes on the bridge of my nose. Alright, so a trick I've been doing, I'll take a little bit of a piece of paper towel and I'll wipe the product off my eyebrows. I don't like the way products on my eyebrows apply with foundation. It kind of is too creamy and it kind of just glides right off and I'll get that sharp line. I'm going to rave about this product for a second. Anastasia's new brow definer. Yes. So. I'm going to show you guys how it works. I brush up right in the beginning. And I kind of swoop over. Alright, so now we're up close and personal, guys. Alright, so the tip is kind of shaped like the top of an axe. So much product comes off, like, the payout is great. Yes, I know, I overplug my eyebrows. Should you buy holes? Mm. 
And usually I'm like this to my mirror. We gotta do what we gotta do. That's not how I want it to go. Cut concealer, whatevs, I can pretty much just and then fix it. Hmm. Try to spot out that one spot that's not working with you right now. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe F. I can't let her today. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe S3. S. Oh my god, it's right in front of me and I can't read it. S6. Morphe S6 brush. And I'm gonna use the same concealer. So, the S6. So we're just gonna kind of dip the end in a little bit. I freaking I can match a side, I'll tell you what. I can match poop out of the side. Don't look at him this. Don't look at him. Have any of you seen World War Z? I think there's a way to fix every mistake and make up. Like, I'm not talking concealer, I'm like thoroughly convinced there's a way. Now I'm going to go in with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Oh, by the way, this is in the shade Ebony. Are those your natural brows? Yes. Naturally talented. Look at this beautiful palette. One thing I've learned, I tend to lean towards natural hair brushes because it doesn't apply so much product, like not just, you yeah. know. First, I'm going to take Morphe M441 with my first transition shade, and I'm going to go in with Morphe Toasted Hazelnut. Be prepared. I like Morphe. I use a lot of their products. What is it? We're just going to apply that right in the crease, messily kind of all over. I'm not doing too much today. I'm gonna kind of throw some gold on there, put some dark brown in that crease, and be done with my life. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M M33 M433. Oh my God! I all right. Now I'm gonna go in with another warm shade brown. This is caramelized by Morphe. I'm just gonna just. Tap, tap, just a little tap, tap. Mm, stick to the outer crease for this one. One thing I still haven't got down is controlling eyeshadow. But the thing is, you don't control it. It goes where it wants. You wear too much makeup. I'd like to see you try to do what I do. Beautiful. Be -be Cool. You know what? I'm gonna bring our friend Nars into this. Alright, so I'm gonna use that one. I can't pronounce it. I sold. I sold. I don't know. So it's got these two beautiful bronzy and gold shades, and they're very pigmented. I mean, I don't even use Fix Plus or anything. And I'm gonna take that bright gold and kind of. One trick I've learned. You can always put more on, but you can't take it. Just start out with white. Now I'm gonna take Anastasia's hot chocolate shadow on its very dark brown. I start fading off in my talking. If it looks like I beat my brush to get the product off, I do. Now that we're done with the bottom of our eyeballs, we're going to start at the lower lash line. Now, I kind of want to brighten my eyes today, so I'm going to use the 
NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Rub on Apart. It's a creamy vanilla liner, and we're gonna smack that on the water. All right, so I'm gonna take the same caramelized shade and I'm gonna take the Sigma E54 and dust it on the bottom. I'm gonna take the Morphe M326 and it's this little tiny precision brush and I'm gonna take a little teeny tiny bit of Anastasia Hot Chocolate, the dark shade. I only stick to the outer corner. That way, you're bringing attention to the outside and it's gonna open your eyes more. I'm gonna take MAC Nylon and highlight the inner corner. Now I'm gonna take the M124 again, take that same MAC Nylon and highlight our brow bone. Right here. Beautiful. I think eyeliner is the most stressful part of my day. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I'm just gonna clean the brush off real quicky. Alright, so we have a, um, a dramatic change. I've been using the Tardiest Paint Liner. And I feel like I can apply eyeliner so much quicker now. Alright, so first I start out the outer corner of the um, eye, eye, eye line. start at the middle and then I go to the out corner. I don't, if you put eyeliner right here, you're making your eyes closed. Now we're going to start with the wing. One thing I've learned over the years with eyeliner is you have to keep the same technique and that technique is don't talk at all. Don't even try to sing. It's like hunting. You have to take a deep breath. It's like sniping like, the whole time you do it. If any of my followers out there with contacts, I want you to know I share the same struggle you do. Trying to focus on this and your contact dries out and you're like blinking your eye and you're just like... I'm going to use Benefits for Lash. Alright, now I'm using the MAC Extended Play Lash. I knew y'all saw that. So I'm going to take MAC's Lip Liner in Oak. Alright, we have successfully lined our lips. This is the Jeffree Star, Star Celebrity Skin. Oh my god, I'm so glad I got my hands on this because I'm obsessed. Alright guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Um, I mean, I guess this is a glam, natural look. I don't know. Stay tuned guys, I'm gonna try to post more. I mean, now that I know it doesn't take up much of my time. I'm gonna try to film more, even if it's just a tutorial with a talk over. Let me know what you wanna see, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Uh